Hi, everybody. We're just getting <clears throat> started. We've got the amazing Temperance DeWitt in the house. A lot of you know her because she was the very first person to share her story on My Feminine Heart. Her transition journey is the only one that has been free to watch for everybody from the very beginning. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we got a lot of exciting so, stuff. So what, what are you saying? Are you saying I'm a cheap date? <laughs> no. Saying, right? no, I am saying <laughs> that you were the inaugural episode and your story was so important because you talked about some very serious things and mm. yours. You set the bar for how the rest of our transition journeys were going to go. You set a high bar and then, and it was, and you were the template. And then from there on out, when people were like, okay, I'll, I'll come on the show. I'm like, all right, watch temperances. <laughs> that's, you know, that's what we're doing. Oh my goodness. We already have some amazing ladies joining us. Miranda Jones is wishing us a good evening. Uh, Christina Napoli, Donna Needles New, Holly Glenn, one of our brand new Diamond Club members. High five. Welcome to Holly. You're joining tonight with some of our founding club and Diamond Club members with you. Uh, so excited to have you all. And I, <laughs> Mike, and, like, yeah, we're just like, but you're, you're catching us. I was just doing makeup two minutes ago. Temperance was just eating dinner. Like we were rushing to get in front of this computer. <laughs> we really were. Um, oh, and Catherine Invos, hello from New Zealand. Hello, Catherine. We New hope Zealand, you. hi. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh That's my goodness. Wonderful. Yeah, we had, well, and we had Romney Sargon, uh, our very first club member to join from New Zealand, joined yesterday. So, oh, wow. um, yeah, That's we, cool. oh my gosh, temperance. Well, so when you started, everything was pre recorded. Now that most of our episodes are live, we've right. had people tuning in from the Philippines, Mexico, down under. We have club members in Alaska, all around the country. I mean, it's just, we are, we're global now. I mean, it's been Sandra, really that is a testament to you and how you really believe in our community and, and really the way that you've helped so many people. The fact that this thing that you have created has just grown. It, it's, it's just, it's all due to you. And, you know, I, I just want to thank you so much for all of the women that you've helped. And, and a lot of my friends have watched the episodes. And they say, yeah, you know, I, I watched that interview with someone and, you know, I've never thought of that. That really helped me. So Cassandra, you know, thank you so much for this. I mean, this is again, a testament to you. And oh, you're making me blush. <laughs> you well, and you, so many women. you did this. You were the, to me, you were the bravest because you didn't know what this was going to look like. Like we did a photo shoot in the fall of 2019 mm -hmm. and we did an interview and I was like, I want to enter. I'm starting a show. It's going to be a video podcast. And I want you to come on and tell your story. You didn't get to like, now people get to see you were episode one. This is episode mm -hmm. 99. Yes. People get That's to amazing. go. Yes. They get to go and look at like a hundred episodes to see like, okay, what's it like to be on my feminine heart? You didn't have that that you were so gutsy. You were just like, okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just come on and, and share my deepest, darkest secrets and the hardest trials of my life and cry and laugh. It, 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 was, it was fun. And believe me, it's, it's all worth it. There were some very uncomfortable moments that, that uh, during some, I, I shared a couple of things which were very personal, personal. and uncomfortable, but I mean, you know, it was worth it because you know, uh, a couple of women, they, they came up to me afterwards uh, in, the, in the following weeks and months. And they said, yeah, so something similar had, had happened to me. And it, it's, it's helpful to hear other people talk about it. And it helps me to talk about it as well. Yeah. You know, so it, really, it, that's the power of sharing helps. your story. You showed so many people that what they were going through, that they were not alone. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. We're all, we're all here to help each other and, and lift each other up and support each other. Yeah. 
And that's, you know, that's what this is. That's what this is all about. And so, you know, my goodness, we're, we're jumping in already. Let me officially welcome everybody. Welcome. It's Trans Tuesday, <laughs> my favorite night of the week. Um, if you haven't already heard me say her name 52 times in the last four minutes, we are welcoming Temperance DeWitt. She was, <laughs> she was the very first trans woman to share her story <laughs> on My Feminine Heart episode one. And because she was the first, her inaugural episode, which you can find on our website, myfeminineheart.com, if you go to um, the Transition Journeys page underneath about our episodes, her entire episode is free. So, so much of what we put out there is free to listen to, but a lot of it is only able to be watched by our club members. But, and every transition journey that we have done since can only be seen by club members. Temperances, you can watch it. From beginning to end and and watch us cry and laugh and all those emotions there and it's still there on the site if you'd like to see it um highly recommend that you check it out so what we did is temperance was the first person to come on the show and uh she had one of the reasons i wanted her on was she'd just come out of work and just come out to her family like she literally posted i'm i'm coming out at work today and i'm like okay we need to talk and you need to come see me like right now um so everything that she shared was fresh and new um we did record the episode in the fall of 2019 it aired new year's day so i'd say it's been like a year and two or three months since we got together last time um that's that about right i think did you come out on the transgender mm -hmm. um day of, it wasn't the day of like you came out on national transgender coming out no then. no 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 it was um coming out to my mother <clears throat> i remember you know i i knew exactly what i needed to do and i i was absolutely positive that this is what i have to do so it really didn't coincide with any special holiday or anything like it's, that it's when it was right for you, but it was about <clears throat> about a year and two or three months ago was when it yes. all. So yes. we're so excited for tonight for you to catch us up on, on everything that has happened since. Um, for those of you who are joining us new tonight, who don't know what Trans Tuesday is or My Feminine Heart, we are a sisterhood of all women and anyone with a feminine spirit, like including but not limited to cisgendered women, trans women, gender nonconformists, Anyone who loves sisterhood who may or may not be part of the LGBTQ plus rainbow, this is where we come together. We share our love, our community, expertise in helping trans women living their best, most authentic lives. Um, our community features a weekly interactive online talk show with interviews of inspiring trans women and experts sharing their advice in all areas of life and lifestyle from beauty to health, wellness, finance, personal safety, and more. Um, our club members enjoy all the perks of our private Facebook group community and exclusive access to commercial free videos like our transition journey videos. They get to experience private classes and workshops. And they even help guide our content and appear in our episodes live on Facebook, just like tonight. So the reason that I want to share all that is because our membership is open right now. Um, we only open the membership to our sisterhood a few weeks a year. That's it. There's three or four weeks a year where we have an open window where you can join us and it happens to be right now. So if you have ever wanted to join our sisterhood, now is the time our membership closes next Monday. So at the end of the week, February 8th, we are shut down again for several months. Um, and I did want to give people like a sneak peek of the things that are coming up. So if you're debating, is this the right time, not the right time? We have some really neat opportunities for our club members like that are experiences exclusive to them, classes they get to experience on Zoom, um, episodes and panels they get to show up on Facebook. So coming up later this month, our members are going to be voting on a customized fitness class with Coach Meg on the class that they want to work out the body parts that they want. And then we're all gonna work out together. Uh, next month, we have an elite voice training coach and she is going to come on and give a private voice vocal training class to our members. Um, so if you, that is something that would interest you, 
jump on in. And one of the things that we have that's going to be really fun, we have a private chef who is going to be coming on and doing a private cooking class for all of our members. We're going to drink wine and eat food and cook on Zoom together. It's going to be super fun. And our members are going to vote on all these things. What are the kind of workouts that you want to do with Coach Meg? What's the kind of meal you want to cook with the private chef? And then you're going to appear on screen with us. So if that's something that you'd like to do, now's the time to join. Um, I want to give one last special announcement about things for this month. So a big shout out to our couple of the month, Janelle and Cindy Crossley. Yay, their story is going to be appearing on the show next week. And then they'll be joining us live together later this month. And another big shout out to our sponsor of the month, our very first ever sponsor of the month of My Feminine Heart. Like this woman has a special crown that we are giving her as the first sponsor of My Feminine Heart, Beth McKinley from Thrivent. So Beth is a really incredible advocate for the transgender community. Mm -hmm. After a 15 plus year career as a donor advisor for a variety mm -hmm. of regional, national, and international charities, Beth began her own financial services practice specializing in the needs of the LGBTQ plus community with a special emphasis on helping her, cli her clients incorporate charitable giving back to the community and charities they love. So we're big fans of Beth and you can find her link on our website, myfeminineheart.com and you can reach out to her on her phone, 717-500-3509. So Beth, thank you for supporting us. Um, and a real quick check-in with all of our ladies before we begin our interview in case we have any questions. If you have questions for Temperance, if you're a fan, um, please let us know. Oh my goodness, I've got like 50 gals writing in here. You've got, um, wow, uh, Stephanie Margaret Uber wants to wish you a hello. Bronwyn Drew, Susan Holtz, Erica Fremont, Diane Crow, Kimberly Morris, and Tracy Ashley are watching with us. Um, oh my goodness, all these ladies, so many of them are, are club members in our sisterhood. Um, Miranda Jones says, Cass, you're making a difference. Miranda, thank you. I love you. It's good to hear yeah, that because you she's, are. she's my heckler. <laughs> she gives me a hard time. Um, we okay. all need one. <laughs> yeah. So Bronwyn, I, or um, Temperance, I told you we have a <laughs> member, we have more than one member reach out to me today about how excited they were for you coming on the show. That's, that's wonderful. That's Bronwyn wonderful. in particular was one of them. And I was reading you some of these comments before we came on live. She wants you to know, um, Temperance, you are wonderful. She saw your episode earlier and it was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to um, Holly Glenn, one of our brand new Diamond Club members, Chloe Webb. She followed in your footsteps as a sister of the month last November, as did Miranda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Miranda's commenting on my contouring because we had a contour makeup class last week for our club members. Thank you. That was thanks to Elizabeth Taylor. Um, so we do, we have like makeup classes and then we have really serious stuff that we do. We, we kind of do the gamut on our show. Um, Renee Mitchell, she was one of one of our first club founders. Oh my, all these ladies are just so excited for you, Monique Tiffany. Um, oh, and, and Beth McKinley. Oh, Beth, our sponsor, she's tuning in with us tonight. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. <laughs> we are we're so excited yeah. that people like Beth are helping keep this show going and alive. Um, so thank you, ladies, for tuning in and you know what? Gosh, Temperance, I have so many questions for you. We had your interview was like well over an hour, I think like an hour and 15. And we talked about your like your actual HR process at work. We talked about hormones you were on coming out to your family. Like you went, you were like, if you're going to come out and transition, this is how you do it. Like <laughs> you were a very methodical person to be interviewed. It was phenomenal. Well, the, the way I came out, it, it worked for me. That's not to say that, you know, the way I came out is going to work for everyone. I mean, we're all on our unique journey, our unique, unique set of circumstances, family relationships, the way I came out. And, and even at work, it worked for me. 